Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Wicked and as I promised, today I will make a review of the really first version of King ROM for Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Development is starting to look promising on our brand new flagship, so let's get right into this ROM. I'm Wicked and that means I'll do this review in a wicked manner. You don't know what a wicked manner is? Let's find out. Now, if you want to know how to install a ROM, check out my how to install a ROM on your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus video in the car section. You may have to update your bootloader and modem before. A link to this tutorial is also included in the car section. So, what can this ROM do for you? King ROM is based on latest Samsung firmware for Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, running Android 7.0 Nougat. It is rocking a stock kernel, so I'm curious about the performance score it will get along with a bunch of customization capable user interface as you will see. Being a first release, I couldn't expect much from it. It has got some creepy bugs, but that's okay. There's always room for improvement and I'm sure the developer will fix them as soon as possible. Regarding the features of this ROM, it comes with two separate apps, King ROM Free Edition for S8 and King ROM Mods. In my opinion, the first one is pretty damn useless. It is full of ads and I'm not talking about those little ones, I'm talking about the ones that cover up half of the screen. Along with that, pretty much of the features listed here like boot animation, CSE modifier require the pro version. It would have been nice if the app let us do everything related to these mods with little ads, but the current state of the app is too much for me. I will talk about the other one in the aesthetics section. Can this ROM be fast as lighting? As any other Galaxy S8 ROM I've tested so far, yes, all of them are fast, all of them perform really well and King ROM is no exception. The real test which will place this ROM on the wall of speed is onto the benchmark, so let's power it up. I noticed that there was no lag in the 3D scenes, so that's a great sign. The final score it got was this one. That means King ROM is the second fastest ROM for the Galaxy S8 slash S8 Plus after Renovate Ice version 2.0. Gaming performance was put to the test by running Lara Croft Relic Run and Temple Run 2. Both of them were running great without a miss. The overall speed of the UI was good, as expected, but now let's get into the next stage of comparison. Okay, what about the aesthetics? As I stated earlier, this ROM comes with two separate apps. The King ROM mods includes a vast variety of status bar customizations like 3 minute battery mods, 3 minute clock, a different shortcut for turning up the screen from either left center of right of the notification bar, OTA updates, battery bar, network traffic, RAM bar and uh, so on and so forth. Lots of them. So can I recommend this ROM? Well, I'm not sure what to say here. Yes, it is customizable. But take a look at the settings app. It is completely vanished. Full of bugs, I don't even know what KT2 phone service stands for and when I click it, settings app force closes. There are two device management sections, most of the descriptions don't match in the main category. Short story, the settings app is messed up. These bugs may not be a deal breaker for you, but for me they certainly are. It's up to you whether you like it or not. My wicked score for this version of King ROM is unfortunately a 2 out of 5. Let's hope the ROM will improve over time. Anyways, that was it for today. I hope you liked my review. If you did, click that thumbs up button and subscribe right down to my channel. Until next time, take care. Wicked is out. Bye bye.